man, this might sound crazy, but are they trying to make us believe? Are they trying to position Jay Uso into possibly dethroning his own cousin? That was a weird segment. It's like that segment with Logan Paul and Roman. That segment was more so about Jay and Roman. Like, I forgot Logan was there once he mentioned Jay Uso was trying to be the tribal chief. Why would he say that? Because he's been seeing what we all been seeing. It seems like Jay is. It, it looks like he is a gatekeeper for that group. But Roman never wanted him to be a damn gatekeeper. The fact that Jay doesn't want Sammy in that group, even though Roman, whatever he says, stands. He has to say. The fact that Jay is the only guy in that group that has a problem with Roman adding Sammy to that group that's going to be a huge problem down the line but the fact that Roman got into his face that 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 was a weird <laughs> that was a weird segment it was like uh what's going on here are they trying to are, are they trying to plant seeds of a J in a Roman feud part 2 with J possibly going over I'm so, I don't know, man. That's hard for me to believe. But I will stand on my choice and my prediction. I still think Sammy and Solo are going to beat the Usos for those tag team titles. If, if we were to have Roman versus Jay, Jay cannot be a tag team champion. That's all I'm saying. If that's the story that's that's gonna be that's going to be moving forward, that means Solo and Sammy have to take away those tag team titles so they can create some tension in that group. I feel like once Solo and Sammy take those titles, that's when the huge tension will be huge between Roman and Jay. That's when the Usos are gonna probably wanna possibly wanna separate from Roman if Solo and Sammy take off those tag team titles away from the Usos I mean dude but how the hell would Jay beat Roman for the world title listen it's not going to make any sense if Jay were to beat Roman for the world title People keep on bringing up, oh, what if, what if main event Jay Uso beats him? But it's like, look, man, you keep on forgetting one major factor. Look, man, where is Jimmy going to go on the card? The only reason main event Jay Uso was even a thing is because his brother was injured. If Jimmy was never injured, Jay would have never been the right hand man of Roman Reigns. So it would make no sense if Jay were to beat Roman for the world title because where would Jimmy go? Will he be a jobber? <laughs> like, you, these guys are twins. They have to be as one. They are a package deal, they are a tag team. They are not a makeshift tag team. They are a tag team. That's like that's like trying to make Nick and Matt Jackson guys who are singles, right? That's like making Nick Jackson a world champ. Okay, where is Matt going to go? Once again, these guys are brothers. But most importantly, they are twins. You can't break up twins. How the hell you ass gonna make Jay a world champion and where is Jimmy going to go? Right? You can't have Jimmy as his lackey. 
You can't have Jimmy on Raw and Jay on SmackDown. That's not going to make any sense. The fans love Usos as a packaged deal. They are a packaged deal. Even more so than Kofi, Biggie, and Woods. They have to be together. You, you can't push Jay as a singles because where the hell is Jimmy going to go? See, it was different with the New Day, right? Because all three guys were singles guys who turned into a tag team. So that's different. Kofi was a Hall of Famer before he became a tag team partner for the New Day. When it came to Big E, he was a IC champion. So these guys were all singles guys paired up as a tag team. So that's different. It was different when it was different when Kofi became a guy as a world champion. That was that was different. Because they can afford to be singles guys. Because all three guys are over as singles guys, but not so much the Usos. Like people are, are trying to hype up Jay as a singles, but okay, what about Jimmy? <laughs> I can't see Jimmy as a star singles. So why would his twin brother want to have Jimmy on, on a mid card as a as a jobber? Why would Jay want Jimmy to flounder in the mid card doing nothing? That's what will happen if Jay became a main event singles guy. Jimmy will be turned into a job guy. Most likely a damn nobody on the card. Because that crowd will only care about Jay. There's there's no way his twin brother will want to bury him like 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 that. So no. But am I open to the idea of Jay possibly beating Roman? I mean, it will be a feel good look. It will be a feel good story, but it's not gonna work based on Jimmy. Jimmy is the X factor. Once again, these guys are a package deal. They are not the Deli Boys. They are not the New Age Outlaws, where it's like, okay, these guys can be singles guys, but they are better as a but they are better as a tag team. Billy was a decent guy when it came to singles. Road Dog was decent, but they are not twin brothers. You cannot break up twin brothers. I've never seen in all my years of watching pro wrestling, I've never seen twin brothers go on their separate ways. I've never seen it because it makes no sense. Like, bro, they look alike. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You can't break up twin brothers. But as a singles, yeah, Jay has tons of potential, but Jimmy is that roadblock that will hold him back. You can't bury Jimmy. You can't just say, hey, yeah, Jay, he's great. He should be a world champion. Okay, what about his brother? <laughs> his twin brother. He's like, yeah, Jay is very charismatic. He has huge potential, huge upside, but there's no way he is going to want to leave his brother in the goddamn dust. That's not going to happen. It's just like the Bucks. They are a package deal. Especially when they are brothers, twin brothers too. They are twin brothers, Jimmy and Jay. Twin brothers. See, it was different with the Harlem Heat. Because they can afford to be singles. It was it was different. They weren't twins, so I can see them being singles because they were not twins. But in but in this case, these guys are twins. It's, just, it's, it's not gonna work. But that would be a cool story if Jay did beat him. That would be a cool story, but look, my choice is still Cody Rhodes to beat Roman Reigns. That's why, I, that's why I still think it's going to happen. But I still kind of believe that Jay and Roman will will eventually have a rematch for the world title. I still think they will have a rematch, but I don't think Jay is going to win. Nope, he's not going to win, based on Jimmy. Jimmy is going to play a huge factor. Jimmy will not be separated from his brother. It's not going to happen. The, look, that tag team, they, they are Hall of Famers, man. 
That is a Hall of Fame legendary tag team that you cannot break up. You cannot break those guys up. They are too valuable to the tag team division. You can't do it. So all you fanboys for Jay, it's not going to happen. He's not going to beat Roman. He's, 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 he ain't beating Roman Reigns. It's not, it's not going to happen. But they will have a great feud because now this feud will be different. Because it seems like Jay is trying to fight Roman to see who's the real tribal chief. Seems like he's trying to fight Roman to see, okay, who's the real leader of this group? Because it seems like they was trying to plant seeds of a possible power struggle between Jay and Roman. Because because it seems like, man, look, man, Jay is a gatekeeper for that group. He is a gatekeeper more than Roman. The fact that he was pissed that Sammy got inducted into that group. And that was on Roman Reigns' watch. That was his choice to have Sammy in the group. Jay had a huge issue with that. I feel like that was a huge seed that was planted. Look, eventually he is going to not want to listen to Roman Reigns. That's what that means. But I still think Solo and Sammy will beat the Usos for those tag team titles. If Jay is going to face Roman, look, if Jay is going to face Roman for the world title, he can't be a tag team champion. He has to lose that title. He has to lose those titles. So I still think Solo and Sammy will beat the Usos for those titles. But at the end of the day, I still think Cody will beat Roman for the world title. But the fact that Roman is starting to get a tiny bit irritated by Jay's action, he called Jay a hothead. <laughs> it's like, whoa, we called him a hothead. He is. When it comes to the Usos, he's the mean one. And Jimmy is the nice, sweet one, right? Jay is a ticking time bomb that eventually Roman is going to have to cross paths with. Eventually, man, Jay is going to challenge Roman as the tribal chief. Oh, yeah, I would say a couple of months back, I made a post about how I wasn't ready to give up on Shasi Blackheart. Like, dude, everybody was saying she was going to get released, cut, etc. I was one of the only ones that was saying she would not be cut. I said, no, they still see that she has upside. They, they still think she has potential to be a star down the line. I said, Lita is her biggest fan. So I'm like, no, nah, they will not cut her. They would not release her. It's, it was like, look, Shotzi was going through some stress outside the ring. That's why she wasn't winning matches. She wasn't ready to be pushed. But now, she, but now, obviously, she is now. But my whole point was, I was not ready to give up on her. So everybody was saying she was going to be cut, released. I was like, nah, she would not be released. She is fine. She will be a star down the line. And now I'm glad she's being pushed as a face. I said, I'm, I'm done. 